Chippy here again from UMC Portal. Thanks for tuning in. Bit of a, a hay fever and uh, asthma situation going on, so you're not going to see me on screen today. But uh, what I wanted to do, just quickly show you a setup here. In the light of yesterday's news that uh, Microsoft and Intel together will be able to, or think they'll be able to, produce $99 Windows tablets. 8 inch tablets that don't have a cost for the Windows license that run Baytrail T Insider. Some of the specifications on the $99 tablets are going to be a little bit uh, lower than the ones you see here. Maybe lower end screens, maybe uh, no HDMI port, maybe a smaller battery. But um, it's this sort of setup that uh, is, might be quite interesting to those people thinking about the, the, the low cost tablets. Now, this setup here is typical of how I how I work every day. We've got uh, got an Ultrabook here. This is on a USB 3 docking station. This is the Belkin uh, Ultrabook docking stand. I actually think it's the tablet docking stand. One of the two anyway. USB 3 with display link technology. Uh, so what's happening is over USB we've got the display. We've got gigabit Ethernet. I've got a 256 gig SSD connected here. Keyboard, mouse audio everything is basically running through that uh, uh, um, docking station there so nice screen working area and I've got the tablet here uh, actually running my music right now but the interesting thing here is that actually this ultrabook is not connected to the uh, docking station what's happening here is actually everything's running off this tablet so I've got myself uh, a situation here potentially by the end of this year for $99 all I need is one USB port and a docking station and I have got myself quite a nice working area and in fact the uh, the quality of the uh, performance here is really quite significant now I'm running off a uh, gigabit to uh, Ethernet here but if we just go to news uh, dot google.com just to do a few uh, website searches let's just zoom in there so you can see some of the speeds so these are obviously random pages now no, I'm just gonna put oh that's an SSL error uh, let's just push up a few of these stories just so you can see what's going on so this is not as quick as a as an ultra but we've got three tabs uh, coming up here there's one, there's two, and there's the third one. So they're uh, obviously not cached, and uh, straight off uh, Google News there. Let's, uh, let's bring a few others up. This, uh, so we've got one, two, three, four tabs loading there. Let's just uh, push through a few of those away. We've got uh, TweakDip running in the background here, and uh, let's just bring up uh, Gmail as well, so you can see. Uh, oh let's just put in a password for that one and uh, you should be able to see gmail load up fairly fairly quickly so it's swift there's only two gigs of ram in here so there is a limit as to how many programs you can run at the same time what sort of programs you can run at the same time but think about this when the 99 dollars tablets for, with two gig and 32 gigs uh, of ram come along what's going to happen to the mainstream mainstream needs to differentiate which means that uh, the next generation so at the end of this year i'm thinking about fourth quarter uh, this year the mainstream Windows 8 8 inch tablets are going to have to be differentiated in some way so although we're going to get a new bay trail with slightly boosted performance what we'd like to see is USB 3 connectors on them with 4 gigs of around a 64 bit operating system actually those just those three things plus the boost on CPU which we're expecting to see 15% on CPU and GPU later this year is going to be enough to give you a really quite impressive uh, desktop environment if you're thinking about uh, using docking stations so just as a reminder here through that one USB 2 connector I'll just to, I'll pull it out just to prove that that really is um, working there and I'll put it back in we have got on the docking station or oh, come on get back in there on the docking station there let's just get that back in focus we have 256 gig hard drive I've got an audio adapter we've got a DVI cable going to the the monitor here let's just uh, put that back into the uh, monitor space so you can see it's working uh, I've got uh, Bluetooth uh, sorry Bluetooth headphones I've got uh, you, uh, wireless keyboard and mouse and gigabit ethernet running off the back and that's all off USB 2 and it's working pretty well so uh, umcportal.com 
uh, is where we've been reporting on the ultra mobile windows tablet pcs uh, 8 inch and 10 inches it's going to be a very interesting second half of the year when we look at the lower cost versions of these and then what happens to the the mainstream uh, at around 200 dollars i think we're going to see some really really interesting mobile computing devices that's it for me thanks for watching uh, i'll be back face on screen hopefully soon when this hay fever situation has cleared up you can actually look at my eyes without being shocked and scared that something is going on with this drugging in front of the screen thanks for listening we'll see you in the next video bye bye